There's new info about a Mount Everest-sized volcano on the surface of Mars. Scientists think they've pinpointed this massive volcano that's been apparently hiding in plain sight for decades. CNN's Tom Foreman joins us now with the pictures. Tom, why did it take so long to spot this? Uh, they weren't looking in the right place. <laughs> it's, the reason it took so long to spot this is because it is not wildly evident. For example, if you look at a topographic map of Mars, yeah, you can see high points here. Mars has some really, really high mountains on it. You can look at them and say, oh yeah, there it is, right there, there it is. The problem is that's not where it is. Where it is is right over here. This is the new volcano that they found. It doesn't look like a volcano at all. So when you see it in this form, again, it just looks like sort of a, a spalled out area here, just not a good looking thing at all. And yet it really does seem to make a difference because they believe that this is a massive spread out volcano that has eroded a tremendous amount over time. So much so that if you dropped it down here, one end of it would be on New York, one end would be on Washington DC. So it's covering, you know, up over 200 miles, and it's tremendously high despite that. You mentioned being near the Mount Everest level. Sure, the thing is, Mars has other mountains that are much taller than Mount Everest. So you can see how those would attract attention. People would say some of those may be the remnants of volcanoes as well. They wouldn't necessarily spot this one, but this is the one they most recently found, and they're very excited about it, Allison. Why is that, Tom? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> they're, ask, they're excited for a couple of reasons. One, because if it is here, uh, the, it, it's flat, it's spread out. They've located a landing area kind of near the caldera, the remains of the caldera, where they would be able to put a robotic probe down or people if we ever get there. And the main thing they're excited about is this. They think that underneath that, there may be a vast sheet of glacial ice and that means water. And water is a big deal when you travel here. Hydrogen, oxygen, rocket fuel, survival for human beings, all of that matters. And it's a bonus to the location of this because if we're talking about this being on the equator of Mars, which is where it is, during the daytime, at the, the height of temperature, it can feel like 70, 80 degrees right there. That's a really good working temperature. I will warn you, at night it goes to like 200 below zero Fahrenheit, but in the daytime, that's a good working environment. So what these people are saying is maybe this is the place we should be looking at where humans could do work when and if we ever get to Mars. In the meantime, go to Iceland, go to Hawaii if you want to see a volcano. But there's one waiting <laughs> out there.